I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Good morning again everybody and thanks as always for tuning in to Change Happens with Stacy and this special part of my 15 week transformation. So I'm home from the gym. I did get there this morning and I was able to get in a really good leg workout. I was able to film just a little bit. It was a little crowded this morning because I got there a little later than usual, but I am super, super stoked. I did Smith squats again, and I was able to go up to 95 pounds. So I, I did my warm ups. I did a whole set at 65, then 75, 85, and I hit 95 pounds. I was really excited. So before long, I'll be squatting triple digit numbers, and I'm, I'm really feeling the strength come back, which is super exciting. After that, I did some pause squats, um, I wasn't able to film that, just couldn't find the right angle. And like I've said before, I try to respect other people that are around me working out. So it just didn't work out today, but you'll see some of the regular squats. I was able to get in some cardio, some stretching, some core work. Since I did squats and since during the week, my knee was kind of bothering me a little bit. I've mentioned in another video, about six months ago, I tore a tendon in my knee, and every once in a while, I just feel that little bit of irritation. So since I did squats today, I did do a little physical therapy for my knee, just, just to keep strengthening that whole area. Um, I had also torn my hamstring. So again, you'll see a little bit of that in the video, and just checking in with everybody. But listen guys, it's not always about the scale. It's about how you feel. It's about how your clothes feel. And listen, we see the proof in the pudding in these videos. I can definitely see a difference. I hope you can too. That, that my midsection is, is getting tighter, um, for sure. I'm already starting to see some change in my arms. I know for me, my particular body type, the last place I'll really see change is in my bottom and in my legs. 15 weeks to go. Summer, here I come. Thanks as always. Remember, change happens. We can embrace it or we can complain about it. We can do our best to be positive through it or we could be negative. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new beginning. Change happens. It starts right here. Be the change you want. Continue. Don't give up. Stick with it. Go in love and peace. Cheers. Outside of the gym I just had a great workout today really focused on cardio for me um, I did do some legs did some adduction abduction and I worked my glutes and then some abs but I, I focused mostly on cardio today that's just what I was in the mood for I'm gonna hit weights pretty heavy this week because yay it's spring break one of the favorite times of year for teachers spring break. End of week but three 
and it, it's going well. I'm definitely aware of body changes. The scale's not moving much, but I feel like my, my tummy is feeling tighter. My clothes are feeling like they fit a little better. So I'm excited. And that's just it, everybody. If you're out there on this journey with me trying to be successful with weight loss or body transformation, the big thing to remember is consistency and sticking with it. It does not happen overnight. Just like the changes to an unhealthy body didn't happen overnight, getting back on a course of being more healthy. That does take some time. I've got an inspirational shirt on today. Coffee is my Valentine, whoop, whoop. And some Just Strong pants uh, from Just Strong Clothing. So if you haven't checked those out, go ahead and do it. They, they fit comfortably, they move well. So I do recommend that clothing. I've also been a fan of Fabletics for quite some time. So, hey, I can't wait to bring you some more footage later. I plan on visiting a park today. It is absolutely gorgeous out right now. The sun is really shining, beautiful blue skies. It's currently 63 degrees. It's not gonna get too warm today. I cannot wait. Next up, time to scrub-a-dub-dub -dub the car. Thanks for watching. As usual I'm sitting outside of the gym to tell you about it it is a not sunny Florida day it is raining it's overcast it's yucky it's a great day for an awesome workout great day for an awesome workout and then to do some stuff inside next stop for me is gonna be Target but let me tell you about this workout I just had to so sitting out here let me tell you about this workout it was all about power moves today i started with squats did the bar worked my way up to 95 pounds i did do 95 pounds last week i thought about going up today but i decided to just stick with it there and get really good quality reps which is what i did but then oh, it was time for some deadlift good morning everybody it's still spring break and the girl and I have been up to some fun shenanigans. We took a road trip yesterday to Brandon Mall and did some shopping, ate some good food, ran into an old friend um, that joined us for lunch. We just had a great day. Now today, we're going to be up to more shenanigans. On tap today, definitely some boba tea for the girl. I have some gift cards that I'm gonna try and use. So I'm gonna be checking out Bath and Body Works and a favorite clothing store here in Ocala, Florida, Maurice's in the Paddock Mall. So we're gonna be up to that. Hoping to maybe get a later in the day workout in. I have gotten workouts in this week. I've been eating pretty well. You know, I've afforded myself a couple treats like a big shamrock cookie yesterday. That was yummy. But uh, the weight loss is going good. I'm feeling strong, feeling healthy. 
Good news on my hand, nothing's broken, um, nothing's injured, it looks good. So we're just gonna go with a, a little medication to kind of help with the swelling. And that'll be feeling awesome in no time. So thanks for tuning in. More spring break shenanigans to come. Oh yeah, liking the curls? <laughs> Fun stuff when you have a little extra time. Cheers. Happy Thursday of spring break, everybody. So this morning, believe it or not, it was like 45 degrees, but now it's in the 70s. The sky is blue and gorgeous. It is a perfect time for a walk, but I'll say, the, the girl and I went out for our shenanigans today and we wound up having a late lunch at Outback. I had potato soup, a couple slices of bread, and a couple she wanted cheese fries, so I did eat a few of those. And right now, I do not feel like a walk. But my girl, she is so awesome. She said, come on, mom, remember, change happens. It starts with you. So that really gave me the encouragement that I needed to get out here and go for a walk. So I'm wearing a long workout top so I get a little sun while I'm out here. It is just a gorgeous day. I want you to take a look at this. Look at that blue sky. Is that not amazing? This is why people move to Florida. It is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna take a nice walk in my neighborhood. I'm gonna take that long way around. I may get two laps in, and that's gonna be my workout for today. I lifted really heavy the other day, so I will lift again tomorrow and I hope to get some of that on tape. But today is just all about a nice outdoor walk. I'm so excited to be out here. I'm gonna turn the camera off in just a minute because there's a bunch of noise. You don't wanna hear it. Um, but thanks for tuning in. I hope you've liked the videos that I brought you this week, some different content. And oh, I'm, I have a couple more cooking videos planned. Anyway, I'm going to get this walk done. Cheers. So I'm out on this amazing walk and I'm taking a route through the very back of my neighborhood and I thought I'd show you around. You can see the construction is just booming. New homes everywhere. They're grading everything, getting ready to do more sod. It really is a pretty little neighborhood. Everything's fresh. That might not be so fresh. <laughs> but look, isn't it pretty? A lot of these are available. So I've said it before, make it a plug for beautiful Florida. If you've been considering a move, Ocala is really a nice place. This is a growing community. Really pretty little homes, energy efficient. Nice pie shaped lots. There are a lot of families in here, a lot of children. Soon we'll have our pool. Pretty little church back there. So nice. It's a little after five, but they're still working hard. 
finishing up construction. Pretty. This is some of the stone work I talked about before. Just lovely. That arch looks beautiful. Oh, pretty fire pit. Looks like this one's almost done. Fancy laundry room over there. And look at the blue sky. Just doesn't get better than this. It's just a gorgeous day. I'm glad my girl encouraged me to get out and get this walk in. All so pretty. Looks like we got some fairly fresh concrete poured over here. Adding to the sidewalk. It looks cured, but I'm still going to give it a wide berth. Oh, look at that one. That one's available. This one's really pretty. wonder how many square feet that is. Beautiful home. That color is very welcoming. All right, guys. I'm gonna try and speed up my walk just a little bit. Burn a few more calories. Cheers. Hey everybody. So my glasses are even still sun tanny, um, you know, color change from being outside. So I've just come in from that walk. And this is a perfect time for me to just talk to you about motivation. I'm on this 15 week transformation journey and I appreciate all of you that are on it with me. Maybe you have the same kind of goal. You want to see what you can change on your body in 15 weeks. Well, today is one of those aha moments. I did not want to go for a walk. I was comfy. My daughter and I were watching Survivor. We started watching the new season and I was just relaxed and comfy and happy on the couch and I didn't really want to go. But as I mentioned earlier, she said to me, come on, mom, you gotta go. Ch remember, change happens. And that's just it. There are days you are not going to want to work out. There are days you're just gonna wanna say, forget it. But is that gonna help you meet your goal? We've all been there. I've been there. Where I've succumbed to that feeling of, I just don't wanna do it. I'll do it tomorrow. But then tomorrow comes and Maybe it's a stressful day at work. And before you know it, you're back out of a routine. We've been there. That's why there have been times we haven't met our goals. You haven't met yours. I haven't met mine. We're doing this together. So today is one of those tried and true moments of you just got to do it. Even when you don't want to, you got to do it. And I'm really glad that I did. Not only was it beautiful weather out there, I see all the blue skies, but it, it, it was just gorgeous out. There was a little bit of breeze. I got to walk around my neighborhood, see some of that new construction. It's exciting to see how the neighborhood is growing. And I feel proud of myself. You know, it didn't take me that long. I just did a 20 minute walk. I got 1.2 miles in that 20 minutes. And for today, that's good. It's just a matter of, I literally just put one foot in front of the other and just got it done. So remember, it happens to all of us. Just because I'm committed to my journey and I happen to be a personal trainer doesn't mean that I don't struggle with the same things you struggle with. We're all in the same boat. So remember, keep your end goal in mind. Don't give in to those moments of I don't wanna. 
when you feel that moment of, I don't want to do this, think of your goal. Is it five pounds? Is it 10 pounds? Is it fitting into that suit that you want to wear for a special business meeting? Ladies, is it fitting into your favorite little black dress? Whatever it is, think of that goal. And on those days where you just don't want to dig deep, keep the goal in mind and just put one foot in front of another and you can do it. We've got this. Change happens. It starts here. I hope this helps you on those days where it is a challenge. Thanks for tuning in. More with Change Happens with Stacy coming. Cheers. I am sitting outside of the gym. I just filmed a workout. I didn't know for sure what I was gonna do today. I thought I would work on chest, but I got here and the 30 minute circuit room was completely empty. As a matter of fact, the gym was pretty empty in all. So I was able to film the 30 minute circuit for you just in hopes that not only would you see my journey, but it'll inspire you. For those of you that are new to a gym, new to working out, find a gym that has a circuit like that and just go through the circuit. You will get an overall body workout. You cannot go wrong. You will be building muscle. You'll be cranking up your body's energy. Your metabolism will get geared up. 